Alright y'all, so the fucking video got cut off, which, uh, you know, that's how that thing goes in Tarot Land. Like, every time we get to hitting that motherfucker cuts off. So, also what I got with that is this is the final quarter. So, uh, yeah. I'm about to try to show out on y'all. What we were saying was, <laughs> group twos, this came out, uh, for the Scarab Beetle and for, uh, the Marathon is Complete, Seven of Pentacles, because it's like... You have come into the realization that, irregardless of there being six pentacles over here in this bush, right, these weeds, it's still a bush of weeds. And no matter how many times you try to flower it like it's a flower, I mean try to water it like it's a flower, it's still a fucking weed. So these six pentacles are destructive, right? The only pentacle you need is in self and source. So this is clarifying why you are winning the Super Bowl, my G. Group two. The next energy out for this uh, koi fish, there is always enough, and you have tamed the power of the great, is the sun. Yeah. What's. What do we say? You are winning the Super Bowl because you are Jody uh, with baby number two on the way. Or not baby number two, but you are uh, Jody with baby number two on the way by Yvette. Psh, you are not uh, the Jody inside of his mama's belly. You are born right you are jody coming up out the pussy i just heard yeah so because of that or through that you were able to uh tame the power of great tame the power of uh, a source energy within you right you coming you came into the oneness consciousness of you know everything is energy and source is energy spirit your spiritual gang gang is all energy and so because you are because they are for you, because they are a part of you, you have to understand, too, that they, you are energy. So when you came into that consciousness that everything is one, which is uh, right around the time of this reading, I'm feeling. When you came into that oneness consciousness, you tamed all of your magical abilities. You not only tamed them, but you understood them to the degree that you can apply them, right? So that left you in koi fish spirit which was the number 36, which is, again, a 9. The Tesla numbers, 369, the trilogy, everything, all things, right? In a card. And we had these fish already come out. So, koi fish spirit, there is always enough. Yeah, you understand that there is always enough because the only thing you're trying to get more of is energy exchange. All things are energy. You can pull from that anywhere, right? You could pull from that anywhere. And then look, the damn the thing done fell. I don't care. We're going to still keep it moving, my nigga. We are not stopping this. We are in the final fucking quarter. And what I will not do is let anything stop me, okay? Fuck you mean. Yeah, there is always enough. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. There's always an, a will, right? So you have uh, transformed uh, You have transformed your will, my nigga, into a way. The sun card, being... Like I said, this uh, this deck in particular is a timeline card. So what was I speaking on? The moon energy, right? That's why I said you already won the Super Bowl. Number two, I feel like this is more so resonating with my energy. So, uh, yeah, you won the sun. <laughs> Over here for limitless, because that's what we perceive that as. Limitless and be playful with the number of six and six, right? That's 60. Your physical and spirit, and this is six. Your physical and spirit. Co-creating. Right. Eight of Cups. Because you understood that there are no obstacles, right? Only thing you can do is uh, uh, blow the fuck up. Like, in my biggie voice. We knew it was going to blow the fuck up, right? In my biggie voice. You came to the understanding that, that you had no choice but to blow the fuck up because you were making all the right choices, which alleviated all of your obstacles. And you did that in a playful spirit. When I, when I see this now, I'm thinking playful is in like the pages, right? Genuine. You understood that shit and you came into the realization of that. So in your, in your 3D physical right now, because these again are timeline cards. So in your 3D physical, you, are, you have been walking away from dumb shit. You have been walking away from things that uh, uh, you, you went through source and asked them was it right and they said no so you cut it off real simple. You wasn't doing the back and forth shit. It wasn't a two of swords situation for you. It was eight of cups. You looked in the cup. Source said the cup is not full enough. And you got the fuck on. 
that's what you've been doing and that's why you are of this energy very simple so now we're going to pull the healing cards group too these healing cards represent either things that you need to heal or things that you have successfully mastered so we're just going to pull one fucking card from this deck one card for group two okay well no there were three cards okay so the first card out is rejection with the number 13. So what I'm getting with this card is the number 13 breaks down to the number 4, which is foundation, solid foundation, right? So through all the rejections that you have had to face in your lifetime, you transmuted those into a... Uh, uh, Editing tools is what the fuck I'm hearing. So when you, since we are in the Super Bowl shit, when you uh, ran the bar, and I don't know nothing about football, all this shit is intuitively, intuitively guided, right? But last time you went to run the ball down the middle, a motherfucker came out of left field and tackled your ass. So uh, in the moment, you might have perceived that as you missed, you fucked up the play, right? So you didn't get the yards or whatever you wanted to get, but... Um, at this moment, at this level of frequency and perception that you are at, you went back, right? Remember I said, replay those videos. This is the preseason, right? So in you uh, reevaluating all of your life lessons and all of your rejections, you understood that those rejections were lessons of protection, right? So when you went back and watched that uh, uh, tackle that you didn't see coming in the moment, you saw you know exactly where the fuck they was coming from so you understood to uh uh you know run the ball a couple degrees right so that this motherfucker from left field you would have a clear line of eyesight to see if they were coming or if they wasn't and you would also have enough time to correct your steps right you turned every fumble into a touchdown that's why the marathon is complete Number nine, how teachable are you, right? Remember, this is in this pal, we had the number 36 with the Koi Spirit, which was three, six, and nine, Tesla numbers, right? So with this, how teachable are you? You are so teachable that you have attained all the lessons, and now you are being called back as the volunteer, right? That's what I was saying with another reading. I don't know if, the, if it was this one or if it was my last one or when it was, but I said... Those of us that had graduated valedictorian, we were being called back on some PTA tutor volunteer shit, right? Now we were going to teach because we had a relatable experience. Uh, this is validation of that group twos. You are, uh, I'm, I'm not trying to put any pressure on anyone else, but I feel like you are, um, like I said, you are of my frequency. You have already been through the marathon and you have successfully com completed that motherfucker. You are being asked to come back as a volunteer you are now the teacher boom that's what this is with the number nine and this is you know the timeline physical we also have three six and this is the nine right tesla numbers you can do all things and then over here with this number six and six and the eight of cups you walking away from anything that was not a uh, you looked at it you saw it was a cup and then you ran it through source right and, and by you running it through source you looked in the cup and the cup was not running over source said so you walk the fuck on right that's what the energy of this power was for you this is feminine energy this could be the cross watch or this could be another way to identify yourself you were again with the a it says procrastination but I'm feeling like that was a struggle for you, walking away from certain things. Some some things you tried to hold on to. Look at how, you know, dimly lit this light is. But like I was saying, over here with this uh, rejection card, or over here in this one, with this rejection card. You see that black cat? It's like all the times you were procrastinating, all the rejection, it was divinely guided. It was for your highest good, so it wasn't even procrastination. If you're second-guessing yourself in the moment, remember I told Divine Mass, I mean Divine Feminine, that she was being blessed to such a degree, she was questioning that shit like she wasn't sure if she deserved it. I feel like this is uh, coming into this energy of Group 2, too. And also, our Group 2 also, shit. But also, uh, this lane right here is divine feminine lane this came out or this energy this message that i'm getting from this card came out in a divine feminine read real simple so uh yeah group twos that's your messages i leave you an unconditional peace love and light and i hope that it helps you i will save the timestamps down below and i am moving on to group three and four okay okay
We're gonna do this shit as quick as possible because when the phone cut out, we had to fucking switch over and we switched over to my phone. And I definitely don't trust this raggedy motherfucker. Not that my phone is raggedy, but every time I try to record on this motherfucker, it gets stupid raggedy. Like, so let's just pray to the uh, Mercury retrograde gods. If that's a real thing, let's pray to them niggas. Like, please let this technology work. Can you just stay? For a little while. Yes. Can you just stay, please? Alright. Group three, we are moving right along into your energy. And group three was the energy of fire. That is Sag Leo Aries as a sign. Also, again, this is the very first group of divine feminine energy. The answer to your question was no. Or no, no, no. Yeah, the answer to your question was no in the pendulum swing. So, resonate on that. Why clean these decks off so we can move right on into your energy, please, group three. Divine Feminine, gang, gang. This is the first labeled Divine Feminine meet reading of this uh batch of videos because it's actually going to be two videos i wanted it to just be one but we had our kerfumple okay remember we made that word up last week bitch yeah y'all in here gang gang this is a lot of divine masculine thing i mean sorry okay well i'll take it back i was gonna say a lot of divine feminines but masculine came out so uh however you resonate group three we're gonna break your energy right on down so we're gonna get two more cards one for your timeline card right we are 59, dispersion, group 3. So I feel like, uh, again, your ESPN notification was going to be something similar to mine. Remember the one that I spoke on between me and my ex in the very first video? He has passed on and he came to me in a way that I uh, perceived as negativity. And at, at the very first sign of it, I was like, hell no, we won't go. But then I felt in my intuition this had a higher purpose, and so I did it. Also, that was a read for Divine Feminine, and uh, I'm just, you know, reconfirming this is Divine Feminine's very first uh, labeled read of this group, I mean of this batch. And, uh, yeah, that the, the people that were picking up with that energy, as far as it being a person coming back, and they were going to test you in a way, and this could be a 3D level or 5D level. I broke that down already when I first went through these cards initially. But so in the timeline space of these cards, this is going to explain these red cards explain why uh, what's going on in your Super Bowl. Right. So we said that it was going to come through uh, interaction with the person on a 3D level or on a um, 5D level. I just got a notification, and I don't know what it was. I want to try to check it. I can check it. If this stops, I will upload and keep going. So, in the timeline card, it says, treading, the number 10, the energy of 1 and 0. So, it says, conduct self-awareness, proceed with caution and sensitivity, contact, or what? Correct behavior, and act responsibly. So, yeah. Just like how my shit was, it was a, a person, even though he's passed on, that came back and it uh, triggered me to some degree to where I wanted to have a negative reaction to it. Again, this is why, this is what's breaking this down. And so this is in the timeline card, so this is what's going on in the timeline of your uh, ESPN notification, my G. Over here in your Divine Masculine, pal, this switches now because this is the first, the first Divine Feminine read. So Divine Feminine lane, your your lane is here now. Divine Masculine lane is here now. Understand that. So for Divine Masculine lane, as far as your Super Bowl shit, you got the number 22, a master number, the second master number. So it's Divine Masculine and it's you. That's what I'm getting with it being the second. Either one of y'all, I mean, it's not uh, one is one and one is two. Neither one of y'all are, are greater than the other. You're actually um, at a level playing field. You are the first Divine Feminine read, and Divine Masculine Group 1 was the first Divine Masculine read. So I'm just making that connection here, okay? It says grace. It says adornment, bringing out beauty, elegance, the outer as a reflection of the inner, vanity, charisma, and self-expression. Yes, this uh, 
male energy coming towards you is because that's what I'm picking up on. He's going to, uh, because you exercise grace and all the different things that are named on this card, because you exercise all of these things, you are successfully winning the Super Bowl. I'm feeling that for you, too. I felt it for Group 2, and I'm feeling it for Group 3. You successfully win the Super Bowl in the course of this shit. Group uh, 1, I feel like it may be uh, up to you. Well, not really up to you, because it happens in your sleep. So, yeah, you're successful, too, I just heard. Because it happens in your sleep. You have done all the 3D work, so you just can't apply it. You haven't, you've done the 3D work, you've gained the tools, but you don't know how to use them. So that's why Group 1, they're coming to you in your sleep type shit. So you, you're you successful, too. I'm hearing everyone is successful, regardless of uh, the yes or no answers. Everyone is that's resonating with this group of reads is successful through their Super Bowl, period. So moving on, we're going to get uh, Animal Spirit Oracle decks from our group threes, right? Group three is my very first Divine Feminine uh, uh, labeled reading. Give me a card for this dispersion, her ESPN notification. We had this card flip out on the floor, my bad, G, my bad. It is Butterfly Spirit. Transformation is beautiful, yes. When this energy comes in, your Super Bowl is all about you transforming the energies that were... You know what I mean? The shit that lingered between y'all that makes you have an initial negative reaction. You transmutate that energy and make it something positive. So he has a message to walk away with and he can successfully release himself. Because remember I was telling you, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to check the time and make sure it's still going. Okay, yeah. So it was like you were releasing him, right? So also you are releasing yourself through the Super Bowl. Like I just said, you are successful. All of these groups are successful. Give me a card out here for number 10. Treading, right? Treading. Give me a card for that source. Spirit, animal, oracle. All right. So these two cards wanted to come out, but I accidentally forced them back in. This is the first card out. Armadillo spirit. It's the number three. I've never pulled. The, oh, yes, I have. Set healthy. Not in this deck, though. A boundaries card I've pulled before, but not this one. A lot of these cards I'm pulling for the first time. Armadillo spirit. Set healthy boundaries. The number three. And with this uh, treading, it was, I'm saying, I feel like it was an expansion of your boundaries, right? Remember I said, when this energy comes in, you felt the need to uh, uh, attack almost or react in a negative way because of the things that, the shit that lies between y'all. You were treading, he, you felt like he was treading very lightly uh, in the midst of your Super Bowl, right? But uh, because you set more expanded boundaries not because you pulled them in tighter but because you expanded them out further and had an understanding of his perspective and yourself you are successful so then this card for uh 22 gray spirit i said remember you transmutated that energy right which is why the butterfly came out and it's piggybacking off of the 22 giraffe spirit remember i said i heard that uh, a toys r us song so for you, for this group three, I feel like this is a person coming in on your 3D level. This is someone who needs to grow up. Remember I said I heard the Toys R Us, uh, Jeffrey the Giraffe song, right? Here he is. So this is confirming for me that your ESPN situation or your ESPN notification is going to be a, in the form of a physical person. This is going to be something that actually is in the physical 3D, someone that comes back to rectify or reconcile or any of the reads, right? But you are reread. Bitch better have my money, right? Group three, you know your worth. So you know your worth and you are understanding of and accepting of where they are. So you set uh, bigger boundaries because you see the bigger picture. Giraffe spirit with the number 29, which is 11, right? It is everything I was just saying before I even really read the card. You are uh, uh, in alignment, my baby. With self, with source, with all things. And so you understand to uh, allow this person to speak their peace and you to speak yours so that you can drop that jewel, right? So give me some cards for group three. As far as this deck depicts what you have healed at a master level or what you still need to heal. Give me cards for group three, divine feminine energy. What has been healed at a mastery level or what still needs to be healed? Give me those cards, source. There it went. It's just one. Okay. So it is inner child. 
Remember, I was speak. I was picking up on that with that other card, and I was saying this the uh, uh, what was it? The messenger of fire, right? And ain't this the fucking fire signs? Yes, this is just validation. Group three of Sag, Leo, Aries, fire signs, right? Remember in that messenger of uh, a fire reading that I did the other day, it was saying that. Um, I was saying that the depiction on that card looked like a child, right? This card is the number 16, which is the number 7. Again, keep note of the numbers that I called earlier from the pendulum chart. This is the number 7. It says innocent or inner child. Inner child. For me, this is validating that this is a fire sign because this came out on the fire card. A. B. This is confirming the message that I got on that fire card, which was that you were tapping into your higher self, your self without ego, huh? right? You were tapping into your soul, and that's how you were addressing this uh, Super Bowl situation, right? So when you have that intuitive or you have that first gut reaction to cut this, write this motherfucker off and send him packing, then you have an intuitive nudge like, no. This is for a higher purpose. Right? You see the bigger picture. Because you are coming from a place of your soul, your higher self, your inner child. Number 11, messenger of fire. This is the group three that I said was fire signs, right? And usually are in the other three, well, in the other two reads, I've been picking these before I pick those. But nothing is a coincidence. So let's get some tarot out of here and see what the fuck we have to say about timeline and uh, anything else Source has to say. That was a lot. That's not for us. Source said it's way too motherfucking many. Okay, thank you. Come again. Thank you. Come again. Give me some uh, uh, few less uh, uh, cards. Okay, there they went. These ones turned over and this one fell out uh, upright. So we'll put that at the top of the deck and we'll break these down first. So with the uh, dispersion and with the butterfly spirit, right, this is also a number 11. I didn't even peep that. Yeah. Number 11. And butterfly spirit with dispersion. You have eight of wands. Communication, right? Ain't that what I said? Your ESPN warning is going to be someone coming back to reconcile, uh, 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 rectify, whatever the reason is, right? So that this is a quick communication, right? Eight of wands. And this is what's going on in your timeline. So, again, this is going to be someone in your 3D communicating with you out of nowhere is what I'm hearing. Three of Swords is why it's breaking down this uh, number three card, Armadillo Spirit, which is set healthy boundaries. And the ten card, Treading, right? We said with this it was about expanding your uh, boundaries so that you can come from a higher perspective, right? Yes, yeah, so with this Three of Swords, it's like... Usually that speaks on a third party, right? Or it's like something that hurts you deeply. So, like I was saying, you um, transmutated the energies, group three. You transmuted, you transmutated the negative energies that you have towards this person that gave you the initial negative reaction to this person approaching you, right? You overcame that shit and transmutated it so that you could... Allow them to say what they want to say. You can say what you want to say and get your message across, right? So this three of swords for me in this reading, coming behind this armadillo set healthy boundaries and treading, it was like you were treading on thin ice because you didn't have healthy boundaries because you were still emotionally hurt by things of your past. So this three of swords is coming out to clarify the death of that shit. You let that go. All of the emotional hurt that you had inside of you with this armadillo spirit, don't they have a hard shell? right armadillo spirit has a hard ass shell so you broke through that hard ass shell of all of the past pains and hurts and it gave you a higher perspective of let me speak so i can tell him how he hurt me and i'm gonna let him speak so he can get his point across so we can come together and there's still an exchange here right there's an exchange of words that has to be that has to take place for you to successfully complete your super bowl and for you to release him energetically Okay, and then over here with the inner child and grace card, ten of wands. Yeah, you release your burdens. You release your burdens by planting yourself in, in soul and not allowing the ego to come up in that shit, right? Like I said, I felt my ego coming in, so I broke the cards out. Yeah, 
hangman in reverse. Right. You understood that your ego, huh, let me pick them up because I want y'all to see this shit. In group three, you understood that your ego had got in the way of you being successful in your Super Bowl, so you decided to place that burden down, right? And because you decided to place that burden down, yeah, but there was another card. Oh, yeah, you, you saw that to be a burden, your ego being in the way of you successfully winning the game, right? So in the moment, you saw that shit. You see that shit. Because y'all, group three, your Super Bowl has not hit yet, but you will be successful is what I'm hearing. Group one and two, y'all's has already hit. Group three, yours has not hit yet. But in the moment, you're going to uh, see those tens of, ten of wands as a burden, and you're going to release it, right? Hang man. Coming into the knowing of something. Releasing your fucking legs so you can stand up on your own two feet. Huh. Yeah, hang man, ten of wands. Releasing the burdens because you already know it's not it's not going to serve you in this situation. You have to let go of the ego so you can be successful in your Super Bowl shit. And then what ha comes out after that? Two of wands. Two of wands is someone who is, wands is spiritual, right? Look at him. He got the world in his hand and he's got two wands. So you are, right, hangman, ten of swords. I mean, hangman, ten of wands. There is the knowledge, right, that you're holding in your hand from the hangman. There's the knowledge right there. The ten wands that you put down because they are a burden, then it just, then that leaves just the wand of self and the wand of source, right? So this is a motherfucker who is uh, suited and booted. You are ready to go. You have been practicing and running plays, my nigga. You've been scrimmaging yourself, right? That's why you have all of this grace. That's why you have all of this inner knowledge. And that's why you are able to see the shit for what it is and release your burdens and win the Super Bowl group three. Group three. Gang, gang. Yes. That shit was silly, silly, silly good. Like, I love that reading, group three. That was powerful. So, I leave y'all in, uh, you know, unconditional love and light, my babies. And I hope this message helped y'all because, again, y'all have yet to actually get in the game. So, Take heed to this message if you if you resonated if you resonated with it on any level. And the different levels are Divine Feminine, Group 3, Fire Energy, which is Sag Leo Aries, right? Those are different ways of resonating. And also the number three, right? Because it was group three. Or anything of the uh, uh, sequence that I just named. Those are all different labels in which you can differentiate your your uh, uh, energy. And I haven't said this with any other reading, so I'm feeling compelled to say this with you. And also, now I'm just, yeah, it, thank you, Source. Now I'm remembering that at the beginning of your read, Group 3, I said that it was correlating with the Divine Masculine, Group 1. Right? Because Group 1, they were asleep while they were doing it, type shit. So it was hard for me to really figure out if they had went through it. I know that they are going to be successful, but I'm feeling like maybe uh, Group 1 and Group 2 have not actually went through. They are they have not actually experienced. Thank you, Source. They have not actually experienced their Super Bowl moment. And so these messages for Group uh, 1 and for Group 3, Group 1 is Divine Masculine, Group 3 is Divine Feminine, those readings, if you resonate with one of those two groups, this is again a fair warning for you. This has not you, this has not hit you in your experience yet, but you will be successful. Everyone that is resonating on this message is successful in their Super Bowl. Period. But uh, group three and four, I mean, I'm sorry, group two and four have already come through it. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, group two and four, you have already done it. Type shit. Group uh, one and three. You have not experienced it on a physical 3D level yet, okay? So, group four, that is divine feminine energy, right? And that was water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, right? And um, I'm trying to think, was there any other label that we had to differentiate? No, I don't think so. But also, I felt like, now I'm looking at this card again, you were the blue flame, right? We said that here you are because it's water in your belly. Over here is the earth sign in her belly. Group three, we found out, was the 3D uh, person coming in. So I feel like group four, you're having that 5D level uh, person coming in. That's your ESPN warning. It's not a physical person with these two people. Someone's coming, to, coming through to you on the 5D. So this can be someone, a member of your spiritual gang gang, right? Pass on loved one, uh... 
the God of your understanding, source, any of the above, right? All of the energies of above. So for this Divine Feminine read, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, group number four, what is the card for the timeline from source? Give me a card, please, for the timeline for group four. Thank you. There it went. It says, uh, the abysmal. Remember, I picked up on that, Divine Feminine. I was like, oh, no, no. Not my baby, you won't. Come suck her up into the abyss with your ass. Remember, I said that. Boom. Whatever that reading was about, because I cannot tap into it right now. I've got a lot going on. But whatever that reading, specific reading was about, this is validation that this is the group you belong in. If you resonated with that part, this is the group you belong in. Divine Feminine, Group 4, Water Energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I almost said Scampio. The number on here is 29. Again, the number 11. This is the number 4, which speaks on a solid, a solid foundation. Also, this is Group 4, and it says Companionship. I said it would be a 5D interaction with someone uh, that is in your spiritual gang gang, right? This is the number 11, the abysmal. So, uh, let's read the thing because it says i mean the abysmal for me is like uh the deep depths of hell so let's read the fucking words it says danger insecurity overwhelm unpredictability hazardous conditions dark emotions facing fear and courage yes if you are in group four you are at the highest level of vibrational frequency of the groups of all groups what i'm getting with this card is night of the soul my nigga you went through every dark crevice and cranny, all the alleyways of you. You went through all the alleyways of you. That's why you are getting your, your ESPN uh, notification is on 5D level because you can tap into that shit. Yes, you have acquired the knowledge through the lessons and you understand them enough to apply them, brute four. Gang, gang, congratulations, motherfucking relations, okay? You are, yeah, the highest vibe frequency of these reads, number four. So this is not of the, the soul. You went through all the shit and was with all the shit, honey. You had courage in the abysmal. Like I said, that's why, I, remember I was speaking on this a minute ago. I said, you got to work through the energies so that you understand them, so that you know when to apply them. So that even if the veil is snatched and we find ourselves uh, looking around in darkness, it don't make us know, never mind. Because, bitch, we know how to navigate that shit because we done already been there. Huh, we comfortable with that shit, right? Group fours, that's who the fuck you are with this, period. That's who you, that's who, source just said, that's who the fuck they already knew you was. And that's who you already knew you was. That's that's who they knew you was, and that's who you knew you was. That's why the fuck you're, you've already been through your Super Bowl moment by the time you watch this, and that's why you were successful and got the most points is what the fuck I'm hearing. You got the most yards, the most points, the most all of that shit. Yeah. Here this card comes out again. This is the number three. Yeah. This is the universal three year timeline uh, uh, lane. Right? Right now. Not now, but right now. I just heard. Yes. 